What's up guys, Humphrey here. So in true fashion, I wanted to keep explaining cryptocurrencies in a simple way. And today we have a really fun cryptocurrency and that is Chainlink. Chainlink was designed to connect your smart contracts to the outside world. It was conceptualized in 2014 and finally launched in 2017 by a crypto entrepreneur by the name of Sergey Nazarov. Chainlink's main differentiator is what's called the use of an Oracle. And no, not the company, although we'll talk about that a little bit later. And no, not the woman from the matrix either. An Oracle serves as a bridge from existing platforms and networks into the outside world for real world data to be passed through into those networks. In today's video, we're gonna go over what Chainlink is, the link token, the pros and cons of Chainlink and more. Now guys, this video is intended for beginners as a brief overview and doesn't go into the technical specifications of Chainlink. Just keep that in mind as we continue. I'm just a normal dude trying to explain cryptocurrency fundamentals to all you guys. Before we start, make sure to Chainlink yourself to the like button and also click subscribe because only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. It's always free to subscribe and you can always change your mind. All right, so number one, what is Chainlink? First of all, we need to understand what Chainlink seeks to do. So Chainlink looks to connect smart contracts to the outside world, which makes for a really great use case. Now, currently smart contracts are decentralized and the data that you actually need to execute those smart contracts are centralized. Now you can see where this could be an issue. You spend all your time making a decentralized network only to rely on centralized information. And this is what Chainlink is looking to solve. They're aiming to build a decentralized Oracle network. Now that network is responsible for the accurate reporting of real world data. Data can include things like events data, weather data, blockchain data, retail payments, market data, etc. So let me give you a real world example that actually illustrates the concept of Chainlink and the oracles quite nicely. For example, let's say you and a friend are betting on the weather because who doesn't love to bet on the weather, right? So you're gonna bet that it's gonna rain tomorrow and if you're correct, your friend will pay you a million dollars. You both agree and you put that into a smart contract which will automatically execute as long as the conditions are met. The next day it's raining, hallelujah, right? But the smart contract doesn't actually know what the weather is like outside because it's simply just lines of code. So you come up with the brilliant idea of inputting weather data automatically from Yahoo Weather, for example, or the Weather Channel. But the problem is, is that that data is centralized. Okay, if the data is centralized, let's say on Yahoo Weather, your friend who might not be very honest could hack into Yahoo Weather and actually change the results from let's say rainy to a sunny day. That would cause you to lose out on your bet. And since smart contracts are automatically self-executing once conditions are met, you could lose out on a million dollars in this case. Another problem arises is what if the app just misreports the weather and therefore you lose a million dollars because the app was wrong? To the temps and we're all doing okay. Wow, 750 degrees in Gila Bend right now. Uh, and 1,270 uh, in Ahwatukee. So that's where Chainlink comes into play. They wanna get rid of bad actors and mistakes from happening when it comes to real world data being transmitted over the blockchain. So the main feature of Chainlink are these oracles. Now Chainlink gathers information from a network of these oracles, discards outliers, and then the consensus is passed to the smart contract to ensure validity. Now, as you can imagine, with the rise of other cryptocurrency networks, such as Ethereum or Cardano, which utilize smart contracts, Contracts, if those gain popularity, then the demand for Chainlink oracles is going to go up as well. So that's what Chainlink is, but now let's talk a little bit about the Link token and exactly what its use case is. The Link token was issued on the Ethereum blockchain and it has two specific uses. Number one, it's used to pay node operators for retrieving data for smart contracts. Number two, it's used for deposits placed by node operators as required by contract creators. So the first is pretty self-explanatory. Let's say you and your friend are betting on the weather again. You're just basically paying a really small fee to that link node operator to ensure accurate data. The second use case for the link token is in the form of a deposit and the deposit is actually put up by the people running the oracles. Think of it like a security deposit. The oracles put up a deposit to ensure that they're actually going to be up and running, AKA they have a lot of uptime and that they're available for different requests. If they aren't available, that deposit can be taken away. It's almost like an insurance policy for the owners of the smart contract. Let's imagine that you're betting again on the weather, but this time it's for a much larger pool of money, let's say a billion dollars. Since there's so much more money at stake, a billion dollars in this case, you wanna ensure that the Oracle is reporting accurate data and as quickly as possible. So that's the reason for the deposit that the Oracle needs to put up. So the link token is used for both of those use cases. Now to understand the price fluctuations of the link token, that really just comes down to supply versus demand. So the more reliance that we have as a civilization on smart contracts, we can expect the demand for link to go up even further, probably along with the price. 
Since the link token is actually used to pay node operators and used as a deposit function, this is the interesting part. So if they're used as a deposit, they're actually being taken out of circulation. Since they're not in circulation, what we would see is that the supply of the link token is actually lower. Now, if you know basic economics, you know that if the supply is lower, but the demand remains constant, then the price is just gonna go up. The supply of link tokens is fixed at 1 billion link tokens. And right now there are 426 million in circulation. Now, in terms of token distribution, according to cryptobriefing.com, the distribution for wallets over 1% of holdings is as follows. 35% goes to the Chainlink node operators. 24.8% is in possession of the Chainlink team across five different wallets. 3.4% of them are owned by Binance and 2.7% of them are owned by the Aave Lending Pool Core. The rest of them are in circulation. And if you're really curious, you can look up the token distribution among the top 100 wallets on Etherscan, which I'll link below for you guys in case you're curious. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of Chainlink and some of the things that you might want to consider before investing in Chainlink. The first pro is that it has first mover advantage in data feed communications. So according to their blog, Chainlink is the most widely used decentralized Oracle network, currently securing billions in US dollar value for live applications across numerous blockchains and use cases. The second pro is that it's an open source platform for any developer to basically create their own Oracle or to create their own type of Oracle network. Now, according to their blog, again, Chainlink is not a single Oracle network, but an ecosystem can consisting of numerous decentralized Oracle networks running in parallel. That I kind of like because that means in the future you'll have developers competing over creating the best Oracle or the best Oracle networks to ensure the best accurate data and the most real-time services out there. The third pro it has going on for it is that it has a ton of exclusive big partnerships with big companies. For example, Google and also Oracle, which I mentioned a little bit earlier in the intro, so hopefully you caught that. Over 75 different blockchains already use Chainlink technology as well as being used by many data feeds, including USD currency pairs right now. Now, while there are many pros to Chainlink, there are some cons, which we should talk about because it's always good to see both sides. The first con is that they don't really give specific dates on their releases. So they have a lot of things planned in their pipeline, for example, staking in the future, but there's just no date. It's just ready when it's ready. Other cryptocurrency projects are pretty good with their roadmaps. So not having a roadmap or specific dates for their features could turn off some investors. The second con is that adoption is uncertain. So while they do have a lot of key partnerships right now and a lot of use cases right now, if something bigger and better comes along anytime soon and the community shifts their preference away from Chainlink, that could spell doom for the Chainlink network. The third con is price. We don't really know how the value of Link is going to be determined. And also right now, we're not too sure how much Link in the future is going to be used per transaction and it seems to be application specific. The exact economics are hard to nail down. So we're not too sure where the link token is going to be in let's say one to three years. We're just gonna have to wait for time to tell and basically see how much more that link token is going to be used. The current price of the link token hovers between 40 and $45 per token and is currently sitting at 13th in overall coin market cap. Chainlink is available on most major exchanges. So Coinbase and Binance, Kraken and Gemini, as well as many others. I do want to give you guys some full disclosure. I do own some Chainlink, so I own about 5% of my total crypto portfolio is in Chainlink. I hope this video was helpful for you guys in understanding Chainlink from a fundamental perspective. If you do want to learn more about Chainlink from a technical point of view, I will link some links for you guys down below. If you'd like $10 worth of free Bitcoin from Coinbase whenever you sign up for an account or some free stocks, you can use my affiliate links in the description below for that. Lastly, thanks to all my patrons out there. I do see that we gained a lot of new Patreon supporters this month, so I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart and I will see you guys in the next video which will hopefully be in a few days here all right peace